Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this tutorial and today I will be showing you how to create a fully gradient oriented hero section for your next Divi project. For this tutorial I will only use Divi's built-in options and on top of that I'll also share six different gradient color palettes which you can use for this design. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Now before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a quick look at the fully gradient oriented hero section in its six different gradient color palettes. So here we have the first color palette. This is the second one. This is the third. This is the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. So before you start creating this hero section, choose one of the palettes and within the blog post you will see all of the colors being mentioned and you can apply this color palette throughout the tutorial. So whichever one you choose, um, if you follow the color number, you will be able to recreate it using the specific colors. So go ahead and choose one and afterwards you can still modify the hero section using another color palette or just you know, try all of them out at the same time. So I'm just going to take the first one over here and then I'm going to create a new page, give my page a title, publish it. Then I'm going to enable the Divi Builder and switch over to Visual Builder right away. So we already have a section over here and the first thing I'm going to do is open these section settings, open the background subcategory and over here I'm going to add a gradient background and this is where you get the first two colors. So you go back to your palette and you choose the first one for the first gradient color. And the second one for the second color. We're going to keep it linear over here and we're going to change the gradient direction into 160 degrees. Then we'll move on to the design tab, open the divider subcategory and we'll add a bottom divider to this section as well. So go ahead and find the following divider style within your list and then give it color number three. So again, go back to the blog post or wherever you've written down the colors and choose the third color. And also make sure that the divider appears underneath section content. Then move on to the spacing subcategory and add a bit of padding to your section. So we'll use 100 pixels for the top and the bottom. All right, so now we can start adding our row and for this tutorial we'll need two columns and only one row. And before we add any modules to the columns, we're going to open the row settings. And the first thing we'll do is add a gradient background to the second column. So switch over to the gradient tab. And over here you will need color number six and color number seven. So again, go back to your color palette and choose color number six as the first gradient color and color number seven as the second one. And we'll also change the gradient direction into 233 degrees and the end position as well into 42%. Then we'll open the sizing subcategory within the design tab and we're going to make this row full width and also equalize the column heights. Then we'll open the spacing subcategory and we're going to reduce all of the default padding that is applied to this row by choosing zero pixels for the top and the bottom options. 
and we'll also add some top and right padding to the second column as well. So that will be 50 pixels for both. And then we'll open the border subcategory. And the last thing we'll need to do is add 300 pixels to the top right corner. So I'm just going to disable this in the middle and then add 300 pixels over here. All right, so now we can start adding our modules and we'll start with the first column. So we'll use an empty text module to create a shape. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll start by adding a new text module. Open the background subcategory and I'm going to use a gradient background for this text module. And for this, you will need color number four and color number five. So again, go back to the blog post. Copy color number four and use it as your first gradient color. And then copy color number five and use it as the second one. And we're going to change our gradient type into radial and the radial direction to top left. Then we'll open the sizing subcategory within the design tab. And we're going to change our width into 33% and use left module alignment. Next, I'll open the spacing subcategory. And the first thing I'm going to do is create some space at the top by adding 50 pixels to the top margin option. And then we'll start creating our shape. And the way to do that is adding custom padding to your text module. and I'm just going to apply 200 pixels to the top custom padding. And as you can see over here, this will create a shape. Then I'll open the border subcategory and we're going to modify this shape. So the corners of this shape and we're going to use 500 pixels for each one of the corners, except for the bottom right one. So again, I'm going to disable this in the middle and add 500 pixels to the remaining corners. And the last thing I'm going to do is add some box shadow to this shape as well by opening the box shadow subcategory. This will create a little bit more depth for your shape. And I've used the default settings of the first option over here, but you can change these according to your own preferences. All right, so we're done with this shape. And the next thing we're going to do is add the title text module. So go ahead and add a new text module right below the empty text module that you've created. And I'm going to add some text to the content box. And the next thing I'm going to do is open the background category and I'm going to add a gradient background to this text module. And for this, you will need color number six as the first color and color number seven for the second one. So again, go back to the blog post and just copy these color codes. And then we'll also change the gradient direction into one 156 degrees. Change the star position to 6% and use 47% for the end position. Then we'll move on to the design tab and we'll open the text subcategory. And we're going to use Rufina as our text font. We're going to make our text bold. And we'll also use an underline for this. And this is the color code we're using. This is not included in the color palette. Then we'll scroll down and use 100 pixels for our text size, one for the line heat. And we're also going to use a white text color. And 
All right, so then open the spacing subcategory and we're going to make the empty text module and this text module overlap using minus 100 pixels for the top margin. And we're going to add the following custom padding to this text module as well. Then we'll open the border subcategory and we're going to apply 50 pixels to the top left corner. All right. So now we can create the shape for the second column. And again, we're using an empty text module. So open the background subcategory and we're going to use color number four and five. So again, go ahead and copy these color codes and use color number four for, as your first gradient color and color number five as your second. And scroll down and change the gradient type into radial and use left as your radial direction. Now we can move on to the design tab, open the spacing subcategory. And again, we're going to create our shape using 600 pixels for the top padding in this case. And we'll also apply 500 pixels to each one of the corners, except for the bottom left one. Then open the box shadow subcategory and use the first option. And last but not least, we're going to hide this on phone and tablet because this is quite unnecessary on those screen sizes. All right, so the last thing we're going to do, and you can play around with this value, is change the divider height of the bottom divider. So we're going to use 500 pixels, but you can modify this according to your own needs. And this is what you get. So now that we've gone through all of the steps, let's take a final look at the fully gradient hero section that we've created in this tutorial along with the six different gradient color palettes that we've used for it. Well, that was all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to all our social media channels so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.